Firefighters want to know why the city isn't backing a potentially life saving test that's free. Action News Jack's investigator Beth Rousseau getting some answers from the city leaders about why they won't allow the screening while firefighters are on the clock. For cancer dog screening, all firefighters have to do is wear surgical masks like this one provided by the company. It's free, but the city says they won't endorse it. Sean O'Shell says the death of his good friend and fellow Jack Speech firefighter, Captain Ronnie Rabin, is a weight on those working for the department. How important early detection is with cancer. O'Shell, secretary of the Jack Speech Union, jumped at the opportunity for a free cancer screening via cancer dogs. A company whose canines are trained to sniff out the odor of all types of cancer present in a person's breath. No obligation, no cost to the city. He was surprised when the fire chief sent this response, saying the city will not endorse this practice. Our guys are wondering why the city wouldn't support something as important as a cancer screening that is free. In March, Action News Jax pressed the chief about why it took nonprofits and community fundraising to get cancer blocking hoods for their crews. It's just a, you know, it's a constant battle for funding. Today I talked to the city manager. He refused an interview but sent me this explanation. It says our medical provider does not recognize this particular screening nor rely on its results and the screening could be done individually outside the department. Even if it caught one person out of a hundred, um, that, that, that's good. I'm working to learn whether or not the union will be moving forward with these kits on firefighters' free time. I'll update you on the Action News Jax mobile app. Reporting in Jacksonville Beach, Beth Russo, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.